process to start with. If the left side levator scap was activated, it would extend, it would rotate to the left and side bend to the left. You can see where it attaches from there. So I want to do the opposite. <clears throat> and the way that you do it is dependent on your capacity to feel how it winds up. So it's going to be different. So I'm going to take the slack out. And that's as far as I'm going to go based on my experience because I know that the next thing I have to do is that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to depress the scapula. Now I feel the pull at both points. Breathe in, look up, elevate your scap, raise it into my hand, good. And then release, look down. And I simply follow it without moving my right hand at all. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then the end of that line is all the way here. Shoulders are okay, still. <laughs> That's that. It's almost like a scooping and a sliding. Mm -hmm. If you press too deep, it's painful. Mm -hmm. So you get to the point where you know you go through all the layers of the skin that we talked about, mm -hmm. and then that's going to tether the deeper muscle attachment point. So I know just by poking that much where I need to go, and that's what we're going to do next. But now I take this slack out and let this relax in my head. So now I'm pulling a little bit to me. I'm using my forearm mm -hmm. to pull her chin down. And I want you to push against the neck. Good. Hold there. Breathe in. Look up. Release. Let everything go. Look down with your eyes. And even now I have to change again. I still don't let my right hand go. But when she pushed up, something happened. Mm -hmm. So now I have to go here. Mm -hmm. And I only know that because I can feel what Charlie is going to teach you next. Everything changes. Mm -hmm. So it's not mechanical. And this is the problem with some of the teaching. You push this way, you release that way. Mm -hmm. And you go back and forth the same way. It's an out and back. Mm -hmm. But not. It's usually some kind of strange ellipsoid kind of movement. Because the minute the muscle relaxes, the point is that this the contraction creates an inhibition post-contraction. So as it releases, it goes, ah, oh, and that's different than, oh. so it changes. Okay, try it.